Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Sweet Tips here. This is my stock pot. I keep it full of copper. And what I do is I add all my gold refining waste into this stock pot because this liquid may contain traces of precious metals. And I'll let them cement out in that stock pot. If you look down in the bottom of that flask, you'll see that there's some gold that is accumulated in there. As I rinse gold from previous refinings, some of it gets poured over into this bottle from those rinses. And that's what's accumulated. This is what we're going to go after. Now what I'll do is I'll just cover the stock pot up. It does emit some fumes. I'm going to take it out, place it outdoors under a rain cover, and we'll bubble some air through it. Here's a look at the gold. It's a respectable amount. And what we'll do, it's best to do this right in the container to get all of it. So I'm adding some hydrochloric acid. I'm going to put this up on the heat. We're going to give it a swirl. Then I'm going to add some sulfuric acid, just a half a milliliter of sulfuric acid to precipitate out any lead that may be present. And then what I'll do is add three, three milliliter doses of nitric acid to form aqua regia in here. And we'll uh, use the aqua regia to dissolve the gold right in the bottle. That took about five minutes. Got everything to dissolve in here. Maybe a few little tiny pieces left. I'm not too concerned about those. Let's pull this down off the heat and let this cool off. I've got a few ice cubes and a one liter beaker here. We'll transfer our solution into here make it a little easier to work with. filter in here. Now we're going to filter our solution. We did have a little trash in our filter. Put that in our paper storage. Right now, what we're going to do is transfer this solution to a clean beaker. And now what we'll do we're going to add some sodium metabisulfite and precipitate out the pure gold. Here we go. Oh, I think we got a little bit of excess nitric in there. I can see a little bit of fumage going on. That's all right. Just keep adding. SMB until all those fumes clear up. I think that'll do it for us right there. Three spoons of SMB. The 
Gold has been allowed to settle for about half an hour. Still quite a bit suspended in there. It's okay, we're gonna go ahead and pour this off. Now what we'll do is add some hydrochloric acid, put it up here, and boil it in some hydrochloric acid for a few minutes. We've had this boiling and hydrochloric acid now for about 10 minutes. Look at that gold looking really good now. What we're gonna do is pour off this hydrochloric acid boil. Yeah, here's what the gold looks like down in the beaker. Superb. That gold looks really good. Let's get it into a crucible now. And we're going to melt this up into a little ingot. Let's take our crucible over here with our gold in it. And what we'll do is we'll melt this up and ink it. Here's our little gold ingot that we recovered from the waste container. It's got a little bit of a frosty appearance on it. Probably 99.2 or 992-990 purity, something like that. I was guessing 15. We got 13.8 grams of pure gold, not high purity but it's pure gold, 
and what we'll do is we'll just throw this in with the next batch of carrot scrap that I do all right this will conclude the video thank you for watching